Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the classwares that you may see in the labs. So in this uh, slides you will see the names and a picture of each classware. So let's start. First is beaker. 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 So we have a different size for different volume of solution. So we, all of them again, as you can see here. Next is Arnimeyer flask. Also we call it conical flask. Or sometimes just shortly we can say Arnimeyer is understood. Next, glass boiling flask. Glass boiling flask. Also we call it Florence flask. Next is round bottom flask. Round bottom flask. So you can see the difference in the, between this one and the previous one is the shape of neck. Next we have two neck, two neck round bottom flask, two neck round bottom flask. Also we have three neck, three neck round bottom flask. Next is graduated cylinder, graduated cylinder. This one to you to transfer a large volume from uh, solutions. So also we can have different, maybe from. 5 ml until 100 or 1000 ml. Next is graduated pivot. Graduated pivot. So we can see that maybe the maximum is 10 ml in this case. <coughs> uh, and this pivot uh, is more precise than graduated cylinder. So if you want to transfer precise volume, you should to use graduated pivot. Next is wash bottle wash bottle next is test tube test tube for doing uh, tests so surely you need a holder so also we have test tube holder especially if you want to uh, heating this uh, tube over the burner next is test tube plug test tube plug as you can see here next is funnel Funnel. So also we have different size of funnel. Watch class. Watch class. Also we have different size. Next is battery dish. Battery dish. Also we have it either from a glass or plastic. Here be careful that never ever put plastic in oven. If you want to use it for oven, you have to use a battery dish. Next is crossable. Crossable. As you can see here, mostly they come with cover. With cover. Crossable and cover. Next is crossable tongs. Crossable tongs. We don't hold it crossable holder. No, it's crossable tongs. As you can see it here. That's one because norm usually the uh, crossable should to be in heating either in on over burner or in oven so it will be so hot so you have to hold it by tongs next is laboratory tongs laboratory tongs so as you can see we have a different different side different volume so for example this one we can use it for uh, Arnie Meyer. Also, this one we can hold it for Arnie Meyer. Also, we can use it from this one uh, boiling glass button. That one as well. So we can see different tongs. Next is evaporating dish. Evaporating dish. As you can see here. Next is mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. So this is very important when you're working on a solid sample or a crash dam. <clears throat> Next is Ponson Porner. Ponson Porner. Three bot stand. Three bot stand or Ponson Porner stand. Ponson Porner stand. Next is Goose Map. Or wire cool for Bonson burner. Cool map. Cool map. Next is laboratory clay triangle. Laboratory 
play triangle. So from these two figures, we can know how to use it and for any purpose you have to use it. Next is stand and clamp. Stand and clamp. So this is the stand and this is the base and we have different shape of clamp. So all of them, this is the three of them different size of retort ring, retort ring. This, this one, this guy that has a four brown clamp, four brown clamp. Next is burette, burette. So this is the very important for titration. When we work on titration, you need to use burette. So sure, when you work to your own burette, you need clamp, burette clamp, burette clamp, as you can see here. We have two different, two different types of clamp. Next is laboratory spatolas, laboratory spatolas, different size, different shapes of spatola. Next is drawer, drawer. So we have either plastic or glass. Also, some of them is graduated, so you can't get almost precise a volume. Next is volumetric pivot, volumetric pivot. So as we can see here, this will come constant volume, constant a volume, 5, 10, 20, 25. All of them is called volumetric pivot. Next is ball pivot. Ball pivot. So sure, when you work on pivot, you need ball for you withdraw the solution. So we have a different, different uh, shape and different from ball. Here is very important to know that never ever use your mouth to withdraw solution. When you use pivot, never ever use your mouth even though you just withdraw the eye water. Okay, next is micro bibit. Micro bibit. So, this one, what for you work on so precise uh, concentration and volume, especially when we want to work on a micro scale. So, you need uh, micro bibit. Micro bibit, we have a different volume. You may start with 0 0.2. 0 0.2 uh, microliter until uh, 10,000 microliter or 10 ml. Next is micro bibit tips. Micro bibit tips. So for sure, when you want to use micro bibit, you need tips for you to transfer the solution. So you can see different, different size for different type of bibit. Next is thermometers. Next is a filter vapor. And next is laboratory cleaning brushes for glassware. So for sure, it's very important when you want to work on glassware, you have to wash it and make it sure it's clean. So you need this is that kind of brushes. Next is retort. Also, you can see that one retort. Next is condenser, so we have different kind of uh, condenser for different purposes. Next is distillation of flask, distillation of flask. So we can see that this is that uh, distillation flask here. This is why we need thermometer here and condenser how they connect it together. Next is glass rod glass rod so we can see from here you know why we need it next is volumetric flask volumetric flags so this is important when you want to prepare precise concentration you need volumetric flask and for sure when you want to work with volumetric flask you need stopper stopper so you can see that is stopper And the last one is tweezers or forceps. Tweezer or forceps. Uh, thank you so much for your watching.